feel unloved. Underrated as well. All the men on these journeys have stories to tell and relate, but I do not rate high enough in regard to our inclusion. Now, forgive my confusion, but I seem to recall that if it wasn't for me, there'd be no journey at all. I carry the load, yet in tales of the road, I do not even feature. I'm a miserable creature, an unlovable mammal. That's why I hate being a camel. <laughs> You could say I've got the heart. <laughs> but I just love to thump a bloke that looked at my coin and thought, hey, they don't mind the sand and the sun. Let's jump on their backs and ride them to new lands. Well, I've got news for you. When you read at the zoo about me being a desert guy, it's all lies and deceit. You will never meet someone so sick of the sun. Why choose us, you know? We camels are slow. We cannot go more than two miles an hour. Horses have more power, use them. But then, of course, with their speed comes their added need for more water and food, because it's no good to leave horses on page, so they use camels instead. <laughs> no food for us is not cruel. It's cool, we're efficient. But just because I can go days without water does not mean I ought to. Contrary to popular belief, there is a tongue between my teeth that gets mighty thirsty. And some days I just think what I wouldn't give for a drink. Or to live, not under command, but in the green land away from this sand. But hey, it would seem, I can only dream that one day I'm free and no longer need to carry men and their wares. But I fear never again will I stop being theirs. We camels are grumpy, because we have no fun. And the crap that we carry is an halfway a tongue. 